We are here tonight uh, to discuss about how museums, uh, professionals and makers can work together. Creative Museum, it's a three years uh, project aiming at investigating uh, creative practices and maker and museum collaboration. For me, creative practice is really about bringing together people with very different backgrounds. What's neat about this conversation is that we all do it in different ways based on you know, where we're coming from and the institutions and the, play and the people that we're working with. The more I work with organizations, the more I work with people uh, solving uh, different, different issues that they encounter in their life, the more I realize creativity is, is literally everywhere. There are many interesting ways how you can uh, present uh, collections in the gallery, how you can really invite new audiences um, to give a new layer of understanding of their collections, you know, a new context. We start always with this question, what do you dream to do <laughs> in a museum? And sometimes we have people who have a lot of imagination and funny things. Museums and makers, I think, are, are probably really natural like bedfellows. I think, I think they're the really great fit of people that could work together. Museums and makers can work together both by communicating better about what they do, how they do it, and also teaching each other, I think. Working with the museum was never something that I had ever thought about before. I wouldn't know how to approach a museum. I wouldn't know who to talk to. Museum staff and makers really have a lot more in common than they realize. They're both very enthusiastic about details. They like to know how things are made. They like to get into the nitty gritty. They've been working together ever since the first museum was opened hundreds of years ago. And, and it's just a matter of, of do we accept that they're actually at the heart of our institutions rather than at the fringes. They both have something each other needs, really. I think one of the great things that museums have is, is presence uh, and space. You know, they, they have a physical presence, but they also have a, a reputational presence. They're out in the world. The most popular place in a science center is the, the, the little corner where boys can tinker with Lego or old, you know, old radios and stuff like that. They're makers and they're very much part of our, of our museum culture. The maker community are seen as people who, are, it's almost like a philosophy, they're really confident in just trying things out. Makers are tinkerers, they're out there inventing and trying and iterating and, and you know, experimenting with new ideas. And I think not just museums and galleries, but anybody uh, anywhere in the world can benefit from that sort of approach. I thought it was really powerful when everyone in the event had to make a duck from Lego and to see the variety of ducks and, and the variety of mutations that arose from that experiment. So if you can get someone into your space, into your exhibition, into your event making things, not only have they learned something, they've created something and that's, that's part of the co-creative process which I think is so exciting about museums in this century. Culture Tech was really launched for that purpose. It was about celebrating that confluence between arts and culture and technology and design and all of those sort of elements which tend to bleed into each other. And what's really interesting for us is that the, the lines which used to be quite clear are really very fuzzy now. Both sides are meeting on an equal playing ground but making something that neither one of them would have come up with on their own. If you have a 3D printer and a lab in the museum and you can print, you can reference, make a reference to the collection, then in a way you are demystifying things. You are, uh, you are not having an altar out of the collection. This is a 3D printed object made last semester by one of uh, our interns, a new media artist. It's a great example of the way museums and the stories that museums contain can be inspiration and raw material for, for new objects. If you look at all the exciting startups, all the exciting projects in the public domain, all of those things are about that confluence of different worlds coming together. One thing I really want people to take away is to be inspired. I want people to go talk to other makers, find out who their local makers are. To know each other, to have time to speak, to explain their skills, their jobs, what they want, their aims, for example. It's important. It's wonderful to be both supporting and part of the Creative Museum project. I think this is an area that there's a lot of demand for. Our audiences really want new developments in this sphere, and I think sharing knowledge and, and new best practice is really going to result in a lot of new ideologies, new projects, new ways of doing things, and, and, and a new definition of what both maker and museums are.